What's up everybody, Canuck here. Welcome to another TGC Tours a National Treasure Design Contest official playthrough. And we are off to the tiny island of Bermuda, which I have been told multiple times. Canuck, when you pick that, that's not a country. And to those I say, I don't care. Um, and I don't think Petro cares either, because from what I have heard, he has created something special here with Muirhead Plantation. So we're going to give this a run, see how it goes. I mean, Petro is one of these newer designers that's just, well, I wouldn't even say he's new anymore. Um, everyone is an absolute hit, and he's quickly rising to the ranks as, in my book, easily in the top 10 designers in the game. So. Uh, let's see what Petro has got for us with Muirhead Plantation in beautiful Bermuda. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, I think he's basically nailed the look here. Let's take a look. I love this. Oh, yeah, this is nice. So really small, kind of little island, opulent looking. Not something maybe, you know, a lot of people would maybe say, oh, Bermuda, I'm going with something big, fancy, tropical. Not here. Um, but I think this is just like inland kind of Bermuda. It's, I think it looks really good. Some nice views of the ocean. Uh, interesting lighting, kind of foggy choices. So I think visually he's just, he's nailed the look, so... Uh, great looking tee shot on this opening par five here. Let's let her rip. Oh, that is not a great shot. <laughs> Looks like my real golf shot. I just came off the real golf course earlier today. Didn't play very well, but a lot of people asking me to uh, to do like a golf vlog. <laughs> First, I got to get a little bit better. Um, but that's not out of the realm of possibility. I might do one of those this year. We'll see. We'll see. Here's a nice little shot. I don't know if you guys would even like to see that, but let me know if you would. There's a shot. It's a cool little green complex. I really like this one. Tough to access, but we're in there nicely. Birdie putts. Ah. See if I can play better than I did on my last playthrough, which was terrible. Which I think I figured out that my uh, my controller wasn't actually plugged into my computer. It's just plugged into the charger, and it's been kind of running off Bluetooth, and it does not run well off Bluetooth, so it has to be hardwired into the computer, and it seems to be a lot more consistent. So Anyway, second hole. Short little par three. Bunker's framing it really nicely. That front one, which isn't in play at all, really helps with the framing for sure. Purely just a, a bunker for visual purposes. I am right in between clubs here. I'll try to take a little bit off, see what happens. It's not bad. It is long though. Might come down though. Oof. I have a feeling this is going to be a course full of very interesting uh, green complexes. Get in. How about that? We got a birdie in us. In very nicely. All right. Third hole playing along the coastline here. 564 yards. Textures and lighting are, are really, really cool here. You know, not something, like I said, I would have originally expected, but looks great. Okay, we have a fun second shot here. 214, that is a nasty, nasty green. You hit this here, and you could potentially be over the cliff, so I don't know if we want to go for this in two. That is an extremely dangerous little golf shot, but, you know, it could be fun to maybe hit it to here, have it maybe roll through the rough and sneak on the green. I mean, we could try something like that. Forcing me to be creative. Unfortunately, the red fast ruined all that. <laughs> but that's not bad at golf shot either. We'll take that. That red tempo just ruins the fun. Alright, two sits. A little bit much. 
a lot a bit much. Holy cow. Wow. All right. Not bad. 34 feet. This is one of the most interesting par fours I have seen in a while. Or par fives, I mean, I've seen in a while. I love the strategy with that, especially along the green there. That's, that is neat. I, I like that. It's not overly punishing or it just makes you think it really, I really have to take a step back and be like, no, nope, I am not hitting driver there. Or I'm not hitting a, a full iron into the green there because that would have been a disaster. So really cool. All right, bit of an uphill par four here, the fourth hole. Keeping to the right side of the fairway. Oh, a very tricky green. We do not want to be short. All right, we'll get it up there here. Hoping we have enough club. Oh, fast. Struggling with the tempo here today. Okay. Yep. Ship it on. Hit it close. How about hit the pin? Oh, we lit out close. All right. Just drop in the par. We will take it. All right. We head to the fifth. Long par four. Play is very interesting with this crosswind. Hmm. Fun drive here. I think I can clear this. Oh, well, that's not what I intended to do, and this is where the camber's going to get me, I think. As it probably will run through. No, I love that drive. Great, great strategy there. To a very undulating green here. Wild. Not afraid to be bold, these designers on their greens. Not afraid to be bold. Ooh, that hump in them right before the green was definitely put there on purpose. So you're seeing these more experienced designers really just bringing in undulation as a part of a hazard. It's not just the traditional green or bunkers and ugh, uh, water and all that. It's it's using the land and using that as part of their strategy. And I think people are becoming more and more creative with it. It's something personally I need to learn a lot more about. Um, but you know, the guys like Ben and Petro and you know, a whole bunch of them do it really well. Now this is an interesting hole. I guess you could play it over onto this fairway. It might give you a better angle in, but I think we're just going to play it here. That's an ugly shot. Oof. Into the junk. We've got a tricky uphill shot here. Got to avoid that little patch of rough behind the green. No, nope, we're not even going to make it into this nasty little bunker. We hit it out pretty well. And we will tap in for our par. Okay, good little hole there. We head to the seventh. Look at that clubhouse, that is really cool. Love these modern looking clubhouses. Ah, this is tricky. But it does leave it open for us to potentially get there. Narrow green, these bunkers on the right are a problem. This little natural hazard on the or sorry, on the left, and the natural hazard on the right is a problem. We're gonna go for it. Hit it pretty well, a little further left than I would like it. It's okay. Trying to ship it rather close. Oh, I hit. overcooked that. Definitely overcooked that. Long birdie putts. Just missed. 
All right, tapping in for par. Very neat vibe here. I love the planting here. Kind of gives off uh, a little bit of his Carbondale Mining Company, which was probably my favorite of his courses. Vibes from that, that course. Definitely go play that if you haven't already. Carbondale Mining Company is fantastic. One of my favorite courses from the Dream Team contest from late last year. A little short there. I'm left with 16 yard chip. Needs to release a bit more than that. Did not. Oh, I missed that. Ah. Not a great bogey there. But a bogey nonetheless. I am progressively getting worse at this game. <laughs> Wow, we have a monster R5-9 hole here. 647 yards into a rather stiff breeze. This is a three-shot for sure. And it's going to be even longer if I'm in this tiny bunker, which I've somehow ended up in. And now I've got a problem with this lip, I think. Oh, I did clear it. Okay. Oh, I kind of really didn't think I was going to clear it, so I didn't really bother looking there. I'm still 230 yards out. On my third shot, and that's not even going to make it here. Ooh, this hole is a beast. Love those little sailboats in the bay there. This needs a big bounce. All right, decent little shot there. We are trying to grind our way to a par which we have made. It was a long par. Oh, we got it. One over 37 on the front nine. Two bogeys, one birdie. Let's head to the back. Beautiful par three here. Again, using the, those bunkers primarily for framing, I think looks great. Nice planting along the coast there as well. And at the four iron. Slight fast, but I think I'm going to like it. Needs to release now. Come on. Could have been a bit better, but... 15 feet here for the birdie. Oh, broke at the last minute. Oh, darn. Okay. Short R4, 11th hole here. Really got to watch to the right. Airway undulations here are great. He's really made those bunkers look like this uh, fairway's cambering a lot more than it is. Hit the driver, but with this wind, it might be a little long. Oh, it is just a bit too much. We're going to try to hit this flop. Two sits nicely, just like that. There we go. Finally, I haven't had a birdie in a while, but we got one. Heading to the 12th. 453 yards up the hill. Beautiful looking hole here. Love that inland thick planting. Big. Bushes acting as kind of bushy trees. Okay, we're going to hit the 8 iron pitch. Because why not? Well, that wasn't great. But the wind helped it out. So that was actually much better than I thought it was going to be. Much better than I thought it was going to be. Got a big breaker for birdie. Just missed. Tap in from far. Loving my round here at Muirhead Plantation. Hey, watching this little... That little natural hazard there is enough to keep me thinking off the tee. 
Uh, I think I've cleared it. Oh, I might be too far. I am too far. Sets up for a nasty little second shot here. We gotta get it. We gotta get it over that false front. Do we have enough? Do we have enough? I don't think we have enough. Stay. Oh. <laughs> Denied. Denied. All right. Ship it up close. Take our medicine. Hopefully we can make the par here. There it is. Settling down a bit. Okay. 14. This is a long par 4. Generous landing area here. We got the tailwind, so that's going to make it definitely a lot easier. Really love the bunker placement here. It's... Uh, He's just used it for framing beautifully, I think. All right. 26. Uh, I think I maybe added a little bit more to that. Oh, it might get a roll here. Eh, rolled the wrong way, but basically pin high. Okay, 20 feet. Or the birdie. Just gonna miss. It's fine. We got her. Par, par, par. 12, 13, 14. Four holes left. I got a short par five. Couple options off the tee. I'm just looking at uh, how that green is shaped. Do I want to go upper or lower? I think we're going to stay low. Or not. <laughs> I guess technically we stayed low there. It's going to leave a long shot in. Very tough to access green, though. To get here in two. Basically need a miracle to land it on the, on the green. This should peel off to the right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I deserved that. I went for it, and... Now I have to take my medicine. Yes. Flop, I guess. That's a tough shot. <laughs> that is a tough shot. And nope. So again, we get punished by these short fives. I think designer is getting more and more creative with the short par fives. They are not automatic birdies anymore. So. Ooh, this is great. This is like a, a cape hole, I think. I think this is a cape hole, you template people. Would I be right? You like it. Now, it's tempting. I feel like the wind would knock it back a little bit, but I think we're just going to play safe with the three wood. Very tempting short four. He's got a couple of good short fours on this course. A wild green here. I try to... That's uh, short. Oh, good bounce, though. Oh, great bounce. How about you go in? Oh, <laughs> almost hold out for the eagle. Wow. Would that have been something? That was not looking good at all. But there's the birdie. Gets us to one under on the day with two holes left. We've got an extremely treacherous par three here. Wow. Beautiful look. Beautiful look here. Showstopper par three. Uh, playing it safe. Hopefully we may release off this hill here towards the hole maybe a bit. A little bit. Not as much as I would have liked. Is us 25 feet. Or birdie. Nope. No dice. All right, we'll settle for par. As we head to 18, another short five 
Great looking bridge there. Love the planting off the tee. Lovely finishing hole. I like that tree right in the middle there. Almost like an aiming point. Great look. Almost have some Lost Preserve vibes here, too. Out, outstanding Dream Team course. It's, it feel, really feels Lost preserve -y for me. That's a word, right? Lost preserve -y? Tight access point to this green, but we've hit it about as perfect as we can get. And we are going to reap the rewards here as it's going to come back. Still coming back. Great shot. And we've got a nice little eagle putt that we can brag about in the clubhouse. There it is. So we finish strong. Eagle on 18 for a 3 under 69 here at Muirhead Plantation. Beautiful Bermuda course from T. Petro. Give this a play. Give them all plays. I mean, this is definitely going to be a contender, I think. So uh, well done, Petro, yet again. And uh, thank you guys for watching these playthroughs. Really appreciate them. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more PGA Tour 2K21 content. See you next time.